groups and most selfless individuals. Before we, in, we begin the ceremony, I invite Cleveland's Carrie Howard, our Chief Public Safety Officer, to say a few words and introduce the Mayor of our beloved city of Cleveland. Carrie. How's everybody doing today? So Veterans Day is one of my one of my favorite times next to the Marine Corps birthday, which was yesterday. So uh, just bear with me a little bit. So I want to tell you all first, good morning. Good morning. On behalf of Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb, Council President Blaine Griffin, and to all the citizens, welcome to uh, Cleveland City Hall. So as the Chief Director of Public Safety. I'm a member of the Base Cleveland Veterans Committee. And on behalf of the committee and all military veterans employed in the city of Cleveland, I'm honored that we are here to commemorate Veterans Day today. So what is a veteran? What unites us as veterans? We often move about in public spaces and carry the keen ability to tell a brother or sister of military service as our paths cross. We often meet for the first time and we talk as if we have known each other for years. We engage in spirited debate about the course of our country, politics, military operations, and more passive military participation in all areas of the world. But what, what creates that camaraderie? What's, what creates that, 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 that binding relationship between those who served in the military? I ask that question, I don't fully have the answer. As we all have different experiences in the military, we've served in different eras, Vietnam, Desert Storm, and we come from all over the country. I do know that we wear our experiences and our scars, mental, physical, emotional, from direct and collateral experiences of combat and its consequences. We also wear our experiences in the way that we carry ourselves, the way we honor our families and community, and showing a unified love for what it means to be an American citizen. The city of Cleveland has a proud history of supporting that common bond by addressing military and veterans issues, which we all carry an extreme passion for. The city formed the base Cleveland Veterans Committee many years ago, consisting of city of Cleveland military veteran employees who, committed, who are committed to promoting and actively supporting veterans issues like veteran suicide. Today, we have the privilege of thanking our fellow veterans for their service and commitment to our country. And once a year, we gather to honor, to pay tribute to those who served, and express our appreciation to soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, who are serving today, some of them in far off places and in harm's way. So on behalf of those who have served and are serving today, I express a thank you to my brothers and sisters in service, and I thank you for joining us this morning. With that, I'll introduce Mayor Justin M. Bibb, Mayor of the City of Cleveland. Thank you so much, Chief Howard. And I want to say on behalf of the great City of Cleveland, happy Veterans Day to all of our veterans that have joined us here today at City Hall. This is a special day for me. Uh, my grandfather, my late grandfather, Morris L. Bibb, joined the Army during World War II, and he helped build the Lindo Road, even when our armed forces were still segregated. My father, the late Donald L. Bibb, after the Huff Riots in Cleveland, went to go serve our country as a diver in the Navy during the Vietnam War. And so as a son and a grandson of a veteran, I know firsthand the importance of public service, and I know firsthand the importance of patriotism. And so not just today, but every single day, we must honor and give thanks to our veterans who always have paid the price to make sure that the ideals of this nation are realized every single day. So again, on behalf of our city, happy Veterans Day, and know we are working around the clock to make sure that when our veterans come home, there's a city that shows them the pride, the respect, and love they deserve every single day. God bless you all, and God bless our troops at home and abroad. Thank you so much.
I'd also like to introduce the council president, Blaine Griffin. Thank you. Good afternoon. So uh, first of all, I want to say congratulations to all the honorees and all of the veterans. Thank you for your service. I especially want to congratulate my good friend, uh, my former colleague, uh, Martin Flass, uh, who is here today. It's really brought joy to see him here today and all of the veterans that are here today. Um, I've been given the specific task of really making sure that we talk about some of the veterans that often go unsung in our community. Those are veterans of color and also women who are oftentimes omitted in national monuments and oftentimes forgotten about as we think about the service that veterans have done for our community. Let me just say that uh, I have a motto that I tell everyone oftentimes is that the most important things that people want to know is that you're mission driven and that you get stuff done. The women and men in our armed forces have that mission driven mentality which is why they often translate into great public servants in our city. So I want to thank all of the unsung heroes that we often forget as we think about veterans and the service to our city and the city of Cleveland. The nurses worked, who worked in the battlefields in the Civil War. Um, the women who were called women with wings who actually flew military craft during World War II. And the countless women today who serve in our armed forces. Cleveland City Council takes pride in making sure that we recognize these unsung heroes who often go unrecognized. So we stand here to continue to advocate for veterans and make sure that we do right by the, the veterans in the city of Cleveland. We also know that veterans are often the largest component of our homeless population. So as we set up policies and as we do things in the city of Cleveland, we will always keep veterans in mind. I close by saying happy Veterans Day, and please, please, thank you so much for your service. Have a great evening. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to Cleveland's 2022 celebration. My name is Major Christopher Zorowski, and I'll be your MC. Today is a celebration of all who served honorably in this great country's armed forces. It's about duty, honor, selfless service, and the continued sacrifices of all to ensure our country's freedom. Please stand for the presentation of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. Color Guard, present the colors. Clean place of fire. Cover. Mark time. Cover. Hold. Lay. Fight. Praise him. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight Oh, the ramparts we launched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star 
spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Uncover. I'd like to introduce Willie Springer, a U.S. Army Vietnam veteran. He is our presiding chaplain for this morning. Chaplain Willie. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of the I see, land where my father died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, let freedom ring. Father God, we come thanking you for this day. We ask you, dear Lord, to forgive us of our sins, stripping each and every one here today where they weep, fill them up where we torn down. Thank you for this special day, Father God, a representation of the veterans, Father God. Touch each veteran, touch each branch of service that they have served. We thank you for their service, Father God. We thank you for them serving in different capacities of this world. Father God, we ask that you strengthen them each and every day, Father God. Thank you for the freedom that we have for the service that they have surrendered. Even though we know that freedom is not free, for the blood that was shed, Father God, up on the battlefields, but we want to thank you, Father God, for our country. Thank you for this city, Father God. Now, Lord, we ask that you let this day be what you have it to be, stripping each and every one of the speakers, Father God, stripping each and every one that's in the audience, and we'd be so careful to give you all the praises that you so well deserve. In the precious name of our Lord and Savior, amen. Thank you, Chaplain. Veterans, remain standing. Everybody else, please be seated. We are gathered here today to celebrate one another and to remember our service and sacrifices of our comrades. That being said, you, the veterans are our distinguished guests. This rotunda is filled with dignitaries and high-ranking officials. However, it is your service and the honor you show that we applaud you and thank you. Welcome home. Please take your seats. As we proceed, our dignitaries, speakers, and awardees' bios are located in your program books. Please review them at your leisure. You may also follow along with today's program as the agenda is posted. As for today's parade, we're still walking. I'm just kidding. Uh, it took some convincing, but John finally wanted to cancel it. Uh, John, please stand up. So, as we go through today's program, this gentleman, he is one of our awardees, but if you could face the crowd, this gentleman did put a lot of work in, and it broke my heart today when Marty and I had to, had to let him know that the weather did stop us, uh, but unfortunately. Uh, so give John a round of applause, because this man put his heart and soul in it. But on some good news, 
A lot of people in the city of Cleveland and a lot of supporting organizations have been working hard and for the first time ever, 